Predators, predators. Welcome aboard, folks. We're going to do a little talk today about overly politicized individuals, things, and scenarios. Mm -hmm. Find yourself at the holiday dinner. Uh, maybe you're buying a car. Maybe you're just watching a sporting event. Maybe you're just uh, minding your own business, scrolling through Facebook, and there it is. The over-the-top political angle. Those Listen, damn we're lefties. not here to say one side or the other. Damn righties. Because that's not even what we're talking about. We're not saying that one side's wrong or one side's right. We're saying, why does every single thing have to be deeply rooted in it? And then all your posts have to be it. And you have to share as much misinformation about the other side as you can. And you won't buy cars from people who are the other side. Or you won't root for a team whose one player is openly one political side or another. It's over the top. It's too much. And I think we all know these people, right? Yeah, the political predators. Yeah, the political predator. You're sitting there and you're like, sometimes they're commenting on your picture. You know? Trump would do that. Yeah. He did that. Why doesn't anybody yeah. bring him to justice? Yeah, oh my God. It's bizarre. Well, the, worst is, the worst is the fake ones that everyone knows are fake. The botted ones. And it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if they're botted. But they're shared by real people. They're probably created by bots or copy pasted Whatever. by real people but it's like share this if you believe in american schools and this is like a right version of them there's left and right versions but it's like they're making the kids not say pledges allegiance anymore and they're all facing sharia law and going west share this if you agree this is wrong and bring back america it's like i don't think that's happening it doesn't sound but then the other accurate. no it doesn't sound like anything and they're like fighting for it they're really fighting for it and you're like Ooh. but then there's the other side that are like Trump was recently uh, accused of raping four children or something, and the government is just covering it up. And it's like, share this if you want more people to know. Oh, His secret shit. tapes are out, and it's like, whoa! I think the news would have got a hold of that one. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Is this the source I'm going to rely on? Exactly. Why? <laughs> just share that Facebook post. It's yeah. going to bring everyone to justice. But the predator aspect of it. Um, you can identify them right away. I mean, you come into your new job, uh, you meet some new people, you're at a party fraternizing, and the first thing they bring up, so how about the election? And you're like, oh my God, it's been three years. I don't know, this guy. Can you believe that he's still in up. there? <laughs> it's like, Oh, uh, yeah. You're like, oh, that one. Oh, geez, it's the left. Oh, okay. And then you have to decide, like, is it worth saying I don't care to that person? how offended would they be exactly it's almost like you're offending their way of life so you know what you usually do right you just kind of be like oh yeah nah, oh, um, God, the economy mm -hmm. yeah yeah i got gotcha. you mm -hmm. and you kind of just you want to throw it under the rug so we can move on but you can't you can't they keep harping oh, on yeah it. oh my god now they got you they're like oh he's on my side let's go to town baby let's <laughs> <laughs> and they want to just bite into you they want to get it all out like right now. They're like, ah, oh, finally, someone, can you come with me to my next Trump rally? My family thinks I'm crazy. And you're like, ah, oh, really busy. I just can't do this. <laughs> it's bizarre because these people are like sprinkled throughout the populace. And like you'll hit one that's like a little landmine and then they don't mm -hmm. stop. Like they keep bringing their opinion. And usually it's along some crazy line that has no rationality to it. Like, if they believe in one thing, then they believe that the party believes all of the other things, and they're going to buy into all those other things. And then they're going to bring it up to you to try to convince you that it, you I should guess. be that way. Is that, I think that's the point of it, is to get more people on their side. I mean, that makes sense, right? You want more people on your team. I get that. Yeah. I don't know that. Weird. I feel like those people don't make a rational decision. So it's not like they're, like, trying to say their point of view. They're just reiterating things. It's a lot of um. See, I guess maybe it's self re reaffirmation. Like yeah. they want you, you want other people to, be like, to believe. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh my god, you are spot on. I didn't even consider this, but you are a genius. The scary okay. thing is how they flip flop too, and how young it happens. I like in college, people who are like eighteen and nineteen would like bring this political stuff. Is like you just began to vote and you have no money, like. There's no way that you are wealthy and concerned about, you might be concerned about the environment or like people who are like 18, but that is mm -hmm. such a small sliver of life. Well, I will say this. 
for there's a big part of the populace that can watch this and will say um the only people who can give zero shits about politics is people who are fairly well off privileged and aren't going to be affected by it on a day-to-day they can buy their way out you know what i mean yeah or or it doesn't affect them as much like you're not fighting for we're not fighting for uh, rights for gay marriage right now because i'm afraid it's gonna be taken away from me and that's true i'm not like yeah. i get that and so there will be a push from people who are totally disadvantaged that really care about it more than more than i will and i get caring about it more those aren't even the people we're talking about though we're talking about like the they breathe it they live it they they base their friendship circles around it they base where they go to breakfast around it like they are obsessed with it that's probably the best word for it obsessive political they're enforcing it on you it's like the belief pushers but this i don't know if this is a belief really i I guess it is Uh, i don't really know it's it it is it's It's almost almost religious yeah it's almost religious but i think i get yeah i guess it's kind of on the same page you blindly follow it it's not like you've ever met the guys involved right that's probably true I know it's people a little who bit like, like political people rallies. Who are obsessed with, um, right? But you don't meet them. Obsessed with like um, Hollywood actors or actresses. It's oh yeah, kind of the same. Idea. And then you meet them in person, and they're completely different than what you thought, or their well, agenda just, is more varied might, and and uh, different well, than what you, you believed. Just, how about you don't know them, but like you're in love with them, and you take out clippings of them and take pictures of them, and you're obsessed with them, and you're like, "Do you love Celine Dion? Oh my god!" And it's like, you don't know Celine Dion either. Relax. I don't know. So it how do you seems like you know, how do you avoid these? People how do you manage? Do you yeah, I don't know that you can avoid them because sometimes they surprise you. I actually say don't engage with them on like Facebook or something like that. Yeah, like I get it if you're like, hey, Uncle Charlie, no, um, Sharia law isn't coming around. It's not. You're not going to convince them. We already discussed mm-hmm. this. They're inconvincible. You you really can't sway their opinion. They're rooted in it because their personal identity is invested in that so to attack it is to attack their personal identity you're not going to change their life who they think they are or when they share a picture of a pencil sharpener Mm -hmm. like the old-fashioned kind and wrote kids kids nowadays don't know what this is and it's like okay i'm not going to change your life rotary phone it's like what is that but whoa they also live in their own circle their own bubble too their own media outlets like the fox or cnn thing like oh, sometimes yeah, people are split. News, yep. I, like even even my parents like they like shit on CNN and like they watch Fox News, but I look at fast Fox News and like I don't think that's accurate at all. This product seems pretty <laughs> slanted in one direction. There's an authenticity that I think people who really analyze things can just feel. It doesn't it doesn't feel authentic. And I'm not shitting yeah. entirely on one or the other, but there's a spin that right. you can sense. Like you at least say there's a spin on this story. I'm not going to take it. 100 mm-hmm. percent i'm gonna verify on my own to figure out what's what seems like the truth right you're getting one piece of the story and it's pretty obvious you're getting one side yes like you can feel the one side you're like we're leaving a whole section out here and it just feels impartial um you had come across someone doing scientific research yeah well so, not you personally but god so candace Owens was on joe rogan podcast she was I think an, an aide or something to uh, Obama. So she was on uh, the uh, Democratic side. And then she flipped and she went, I think, Republican. And it's interesting because she's a very good speaker. She's attractive and she's African-American. And it seemed like she was an independent thinker, sort of, until like midway through. And then she started going along party lines without any kind of logic to it. So she sided with global warming isn't real and we shouldn't care about it and then it's like but joe rogan was like but like 99 percent of scientists it might be 97 like believe that global warming is going to be a terrible thing and we need to act now like a majority of scientific the same like you can pretty much say the whole scientific community believes that this needs to be taken care of more scientists are against global warming than recommend a particular toothbrush yes exactly <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Like four out of five are always like, ah, I like this one. Oral B, go for it, you know? But like the fact that nine and a half out of ten scientists are like, yeah, it's global warming's pretty real. Mm-hmm. There's evidence. Her exact argument against it was the weirdest part. It was when I started looking into this, I felt like all of these 
sources were very political in nature. And he was like, well, just what did the scientists say? Like, what did the science say? What did the facts say? The and she was like, well, I started realizing they were all political. And it's like, they were all political? Like, this sounds like a conspiracy theory. They're all out to get you? Yeah. Like, they literally, these people, not just right wing, left wing, but these people who are so entrenched in their belief will put science on hold and say that any, anyone who finds sort of facts or discover something is lying or is they're the ones yeah. that are wrong. They're, they're outside crazy. their tribe, outside their bubble. They're like, this can't, I don't believe it. So I'm just going to listen to the guy that has more power. Yes, it's so weird and agrees with me. Yeah. I. It's baffling. It's baffling for someone that's so convincing and like seems so rational to flip like that and then be like, they're just going to tow the party line because maybe it's advantageous to them. Maybe their career depends on towing the party line. Which and that would make sense. I mean, that's a logical answer. It's the only thing I think that would give sense. I yeah. Mean, if it did further your career and you care about money, I mean, what do you care about whether you were wrong or right about global warming? It's sad to think that people will judge you based on your own pol- like political leanings. It shouldn't be that, like, if you are adamant about something and it's a logical step, like, your work shouldn't, like, fire you because of it. And mm-hmm. you shouldn't be isolated or, um, I guess, left out of the okay. loop because of no, what you right, believe. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you have to be open to, to other people's opinions and how things... You do, and that's where a lot of them... See, I think now that we live in these in the phone world where we can, I see, I can yeah, follow ignore everything around. totally agree with me I can because I have 40 different sources of news I pick the one that I like the best I mean let's be honest I pick the scientists I agree with the most I pick the music I listen to the most I pick the the circle of friends I like the most you have so many connections to so many people that you don't go up against a lot of diversity you don't have to mingle because most of the people you follow listen to watch are part of agree with you Mm -hmm. and so we've created these different groups that split it splinters us and that's in a sense how we separate ourselves and that in a sense is how there's going to be political predators among other things you know people that only listen to certain music and stuff but right now we're talking about the political ones and no you can't avoid them yes i think you can minimize what happens between you and them i mean don't engage them in the politics don't even bring them facts because it's just going to say that fact is politically charged. <laughs> sure. And I guess I always try to like, I'm too nice. So like when they start talking to me, I like listen to everything they have to say, but they just keep going. So like there's a point where you just have to kind of like say, uh huh, oh, yeah, I got, mm, uh, and then just kind of like back away slowly. Oh, I got a, my drink or something like a oh, thirst. Ah, parched. Old, old. Ooh, uh, when, I, I got a, a huge dump coming. Parched. I'm parched. But you have to make it a little bit rude, just enough to know that either you weren't comfortable talking about it or you didn't want to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, because they're going to come right back at you. Oh, he really had to dump. He'll come back. Oh, wait. <laughs> like, uh, excuse you me? Ready? You ready you? for more? Yeah, it's like, no, no. I'm not Did you flush that? Did you flush? <laughs> I thought I heard a flush. Yeah. So essentially. Jiggle the handle. <laughs> we, we will not avoid them. We will not be able to escape them entirely. Um, they will predator us and sometimes we will be the predators predate us predate us they will date us before we date them (laughs) they will predate us but the other thing to keep in mind is that sometimes you could be the one yeah so the solution is really to be open-minded and Mm -hmm. accepting of political views tolerance i guess we're preaching tolerance here i guess but didn't isn't it cool when someone punches a Nazi? Not, a real Nazi. <laughs> Not like a, like a semi Nazi. Like an actual person that believes. Oh yeah. Oh my god. So there's Don't there is that. a weird line. I guess we're crossing even just talking about it. But you know, I don't know. And that's how you deal with overly political situations, folks. You just leave it open ended and say, uh, yeah. let's see what you can do. Is that what we do, Brenners? Or anything else? I got to wrap up? I think that's... I don't know that you could do very much else. No, I think... Uh, if you state your opinion, you're going to get into battle. So by bow out. Bow out is a decent way to fend them off. Depending on the situation. I mean, what if you're sticking up for someone? Mm. Mm. You stoke the fire and back out while they're fighting. Uh, 
I've, I've done that before. Started that at work, and then you could hear the two people, like, arguing, and you just kind of, like, I'm around the corner, like, doing my own work, and just, like, go at it for... Uh, See you guys. It's great. Hey, real quick. Peace. Is that a birth... His birth certificate? Yeah, it's in Kenya. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Slip out. Uh, all right. Uh, well, yep. be careful, folks. There are political predators out there. Predators. Be warned. Dun, dun, dun. Predators. Predators. <laughs>